Hello, it's Jazz Gavin here, and welcome back to another video of Moto GP17. And uh, today we're going to be doing another uh, how-to video. Today uh, uh, we're going to be doing another customization video today. Uh, so if you can remember from uh, last week, I did a, a bike. Uh, well, basically it was a setup. I meant to say not uh, not customization. Uh, if you guys can remember from uh, from last week, I did a how to set up a bike. It's uh, basically I talked about of actually how to set up a proper bike and do a, and do a race track on it. And uh, yeah, that video was was pretty good. I really enjoyed it. Uh, but today we're going to be doing it on the rider. So basically, the rider is the rider is a little bit more simple than uh, than uh, than, uh, than the bike. So we're gonna we're gonna go through and I'm gonna kind of explain of, uh, of how to set up your rider on a Moto GP bike. Uh, so basically, the way how it works is you go to my GP and there you are, rider customization, and that's what we're going to be doing today. Rider customization video. Uh, so basically, I have done a full customization video a couple of months ago on rider and bike. Uh, but this one's going to be the how to set up a rider. So this is going to be how to set up a decent rider uh, when you play uh, the um, the MotoGP games. Uh, so um, um, I'm not I'm not really saying manager and rider, and I'm not renaming no. Uh, by, by the way, I can rename my team, but I might I might I might not do a video on that actually, uh, just because uh, that's just my team name. So I might not bother doing a video on that. But yeah, so last week I did uh, I did a bike and it was pretty good. I really enjoyed it last week. Uh, I did do a race on it as well. So so I am going to do a race on this one as well. Uh, of kind of like explaining of how to uh, improve your rider really well. Really so yeah, anyway, let's get on to rider customization then. So it is it is quite simple than what the bike is. So I'm going to kind of explain all the details of what you need to do. Well, before you do the game. So basically, on the rider customization, you get three different things to do. Uh, so you get the you get the rider, you get the rider um LX, uh, uh, ascent. So basically, that means your your name and where you're from and all that. Uh, rider gear is basically your gloves, your helmet, and your boots. So you'll be able to pick what what boots you want and what color you want. And uh, and we've got riding styles, which is basically when you pick a riding style uh, to go around your track. And it says Jack's game in there, as you can see, 17. Um, oh yeah, I'm actually going to change that because I'm actually 18, by the way. Now, so I'm actually going to do that. I'm, I'm actually going to do that while I've done this video because I've actually not done that since I've played it. So I'm going to do that in a minute. But um, yeah, I do that right at the end. But anyway, so yeah, today we're going to be going through everything what I need to do. So yes, yeah, so we're going to start off with this one, and we're going to work our way through. So uh, the first one is the rider uh, ascent. So basically, this. Uh, this thing here uh, gives you uh, so the portraits are your faces. So I'm actually going to show you all the faces now. Uh, the faces are quite simple. The reason why I went for that guy is because he was he was quite a good guy. Uh, so yep, so these these are the faces. Um, I might as well flip through these now. Uh, but basically, they call them portraits in this game. So I think there's I think there's ten altogether. Uh, oh, oh oh no, there's more than that. How many is there altogether? There is there's eighteen altogether. So let's go. And sh Let's just go and have a look at them all. All of them do look a bit different. Uh, but yeah, these are these are all the faces you can choose from. I don't really like all of them to be honest. All of them look a bit weird. Uh, you also do get some girl girls in it as well. I'll go and show you a few girls you can get. Um, yeah, here we go. There's a lady there. Um, there's kind of a lot actually. But yeah, it's kind of a lot that I choose from. Uh, so yep, yeah, so I picked that guy because he was he was the guy that I went for. Cause he's quite cool. Uh, name. Uh, so just put your name in of what you are. So I put Jack's Gaming because that's my YouTube channel and uh, that is what my nickname is. So basically, your name is pretty simple. So put any name in Jack's Gaming, Gaming, whatever. Uh, basically, uh, this is actually your uh, your nickname. Uh, so I've put Lee for that uh, because basically the nickname can only have three spaces. So I've just put Lee for that because uh, because I, uh, I don't because I, I I didn't uh, bother putting um uh, da uh, David on it. So I just put uh, I just put Lee. On, on there, so that's kind of my nickname, but um, that's what they call me. Uh, ages, uh, basically, I need to turn that to 18, but basically, you can you can have your age. So, I think the age goes up to 44, uh, the age it goes up to. So, basically, this is your age number. So, it just tells you what, what age you are you are playing the other game, and it goes all the way uh, to it to 16. Uh, 16 is uh, actually only the other limit, so you can actually only do it up to um, to it 16, but I need to turn that to it to 18. Uh, nationality, uh, anything you want, so uh, where you're from basically, so I'm from Great Britain, because I'm British, so um, I might as well just go and flick all through the, um, the wait, they've got a Jordan country, oh, oh my goodness, they've got a Jordan country, <laughs> that's a bit weird, but yeah, these are these are just all the, um, all the national, uh, nationalities, so uh, there's, there's loads of them basically, it goes all, oh, it goes over to there, so yeah, that's uh, that's all the nationalities, so it's technically, all, uh, there's, there's a lot of, National uh, nationalities altogether. There's so many of them. Let me just try and go back to uh, to Great Britain. 
There we are. So we up, that's the nationalities where you're from. Uh, the racing number is basically you can have anything you want. So I've gone for my old number, which is 80. So there's actually not many numbers you can have. Uh, basically, because I know there's kind of a lot of riders that have all the, uh, have, all the numbers. So I'm actually going to show you all the numbers. So this is just all the numbers you can have. So there's actually not many of them. But yeah, that's all the numbers you can have. Uh, racing number style, you can change your number style. So I've gone for 80 because that's kind of my style that I like. So these are all the uh, the styles. So there's uh, I don't I, I actually don't know how many you can have all together. Yeah, you can have six all together. So yeah, these are all the um the styles. So basically, you can have your style as what you want for your number. So I've gone for that one because it looks quite cool. Uh, racing number color. Uh, I've gone for uh, I've gone for red, which which is actually scarlet in this game. I uh, I don't know why they called it scarlet for some reason, but yeah, that's what they've called it in this game. But it's actually still uh, still red, of course. And and, 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 and and then we've actually got my nickname, which is Jack, of course. And because Jack's my nickname, because I've got a proper nickname, I, I could actually call it I call it Jack the Ripper from my from from my best friend. I could, I could call it Jack the Ripper, uh, but I've just called it Jack because I think it only takes up four spaces, so I've just called it Jack. A uh, nickname style once again on the back. You can see on the back, uh, you can see that I'm changing it. So we have all different kind of things. So you can have anything you want. You can have nickname one. Um, there's literally any nicknames you can have basically of the ones you can style up for um yeah it's kind of a lot you can have all together so that's quite cool um wait which one did i go for was it number two number two wasn't it um and also the nickname color as well you can just change your, your nickname color of what you want to so i've just gone for red because um it kind of matches the other gloves and um boots so i've got i've gone for that so yep so there we are then so that is all the rider that is all that's all the rider information so it's pretty pretty simple actually. Simple general knowledge than all the previous games. Now so in, in the new in the new game it's a little bit better. Uh, so uh, there we are. So that's that sorted. Right next one is the riding gear. And the riding gear is only is only three things. So you get the helmets, you get the boots, and you get the gloves. So basically, uh, they've actually got a lot of helmets on this one. So there's a whole load of helmets you can choose from. There's actually not many helmets because there's kind of a uh, a few helmets that they had in the previous games. So you can see you have a. Not a, not a, not a many choice of helmets, but you kind of have a few you can you can go for. Um, yep, yeah, there's a, there's kind of a lot of helmets you can go for. There's kind of a a different variety of choice you can go for for all different kind of helmets. So um, yep, yeah, they have a relative choice of helmets. I know that all the all the styles are not that great, but there's there's kind of a lot you can go for. So um, that's quite cool. I think I went for this one. Yeah, I went for that one. It's kind of all, all what you can go for. Boots, pretty simple again. Uh, just pick any boots you want. I might as well just go and flick through them. So there's actually not many boots in the game. I know that in MotoGP 18 there's actually a lot more boots. But I know that in this one there isn't. And the gloves as well. Gloves is just pretty the same. Yeah, we, have, we, have, uh, we have Alpine Stars. Yeah, it's just Alpine Stars. We just have Alpine Star gloves. So pretty simple from the previous games as well. And there we are. So that's riding gear. And the final one is riding style and the riding style is pretty simple so you get balanced uh, which is when you don't have uh you you do have a, 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 a little bit of elbow to the ground uh, but you basically don't have it all um so you have uh, elbows to the ground a uh, uh, you basically have balanced which is, which is a little bit simpler than that uh, you have elbows to the ground you have uh, shoulders out so basically when you when you get your shoulders uh, and you have body out and you have old skull so there's not many riding styles in this one so I've gone for balance because that's the one that I like. So most common racist derby uh, type of many world uh, championship riders are balanced position in a seat uh, aiming for maximum fusion between rider and bike. Uh, elbows to the ground. Uh, this style contains popular with young riders. Uh, riders to get their perfect lean angle uh, against their elbow until it touches the ground. Shoulders out. I ride the style. Uh, that begins with a modem of MotoGP. The rider leans until the edge of the turret is outside of a bearing uh, for real spectator lean angles. Uh, body out. Uh, one of the most extreme styles riding belongs to a terrier body outside the fairway, almost giving the impression of hanging out the bike. And old school. Uh, the style flavours of the rider in the past with, when riders uh, didn't reach uh, mode lean angles and they, re and they wait. Uh, was less uh, de 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 detrailed, uh, I think that says, uh, with respect uh, to, to the to the outs of the bike. So yeah, the reason I've gone for the run uh, the balance is because that's the best moment for me. So 
So we all think, guys, that is all the other, that's all the run still. So that is all the run still, guys. So now, uh, 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 I'm going to go and do one race, and, uh, and I'm going to go and show you guys how actually how the way it works. And uh, I'll tell you what, it is pretty, pretty simple. So now I'm going to, I'm going to go and show you a full uh, detail of actually how it works. So let's go on to, um, on to, on to our Grand Prix. And I'll go and show you how it works. I'm just going to just change all this first. Uh, yep, we need like three laps. Um... I'm just going to do it on, yeah, I'll do it on a MotoGP bike. Um, I'll do it on a custom one. I don't know which bike I'm going to go for because something's kind of on the few. Uh, let's go for, let's go for the KTM. I'm just going to do it on any bike and any track as well. Uh, we'll try and do it on easy track. Uh, let's do it on, let's do it on, let's do it on Haref because that's quite easy. And uh, there we go. Right, let's get into it then. And, it, and uh, yeah, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and show you uh, just just the full information of the way how it works. It's pretty pretty simple actually. It's pretty pretty simple style. I, I, I just want to show you in a proper video just 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 to show you how it works. But it, but it is it is simple by the way. It is, it is simple in a proper video. So um yeah, I, I, I'm basically going to go through like a through angle to see how it works. If you guys want to know about it, basically, I, I just want to like go through like a proper style to see how it works. If you guys, if you guys just want to know about it, basically, but yeah, it's, it's pretty simple with the rider information. Like all the rider information is pretty, pretty simple. So, I, I just wanted to just get that video out so you guys can, you guys can just see what I'm on about. So that's what I wanted to do. I just wanted to give it out a little bit. That's what I wanted to do. Okay, right then, let's get on with it. Let's get on with it then. Okay, right, might as well get straight in. Let's go see how it goes. Here we go then. So I'm going to go and show you just the full information just to see how it works. It's pretty, pretty simple, you guys. So basically, I use the um, the elbows out because it's a, a bit easier. I'm going to go and show you in a proper way. So you need to make sure that you're on the brakes a bit early. And you can see that my rider's on balance mode. So you, you can see that he's not, he's not bending his elbows. So he's doing a completely good, decent drag. So overtaking a few riders as well. Make sure you overtake a lot of riders when you're in this style as well. I've been using this style for quite a while now. Not been using any other styles. Like balance has always been my style for some reason. Like all the like all the other styles don't don't depress me. I just like all the other ones. I I just think that that this one's just the best one to use. Oh, sorry, uh, Inone. I'm a little bit too deep on Inone there. Also, going around corners is quite simple as well when you go on the brakes and all that. It's quite simple for that as well. Overtaking riders is quite cool though, especially on a really good decent corner. Yeah, it kind of works perfectly when you go around corners. Kind of it feels a little bit weird when you're going around them, but it feels pretty easy. Yeah, it kind of feels pretty easy when you're going around decent corners. Especially when you overtake a lot of riders. Oh, oh god. Oh, oh, someone's crushed. Vinales, bloody hell, he crashed behind me. No one's going on there, I thought I nearly crashed into him. Nearly crashed into him. Nearly crash into his own bike. Oh, 
No. Trying to bombard on Dobby then. Yeah, the way how it turns is pretty good though. It's a really good setup though. When you do end up setting up the rider, it's it's really really cool. Like in every single game, I've always set up a rider. And it's just absolutely brilliant. Even even if it's if it, even if it's on a really old game, I, I still love it. I still love setting up a decent rider. If it's a really simple rider, it's still really easy. Right, just got Pedroza and Mark is in the lead. And I'm going to get a good slip stream on Pedroza, which we have. Let's get a good slip stream on Marquez, but we're not because he's a lot quicker. Marquez is not getting it out of the way. There he is. There we go. Marquez out of the way. Thank you. But yeah, the setup is quite easy, by the way. You guys have already done it anyway. I know that you guys probably started before the game, but I just wanted to give out just a bit of an advice to, to see how it works. Um, as I know it's not, I know it's not that hard, but I just wanted to do a, a video just kind of just talking about of actually how the cell properly works and all that, and I just want to kind of like just let you know in, in, in information just to kind of like explain what it is but um yeah I, I just i just wanted to let you know basically what it is it is quite a simple setup anyway but um yeah i just wanted to let you know and also just do a, a video on it just kind of like explaining of actually how it normally works but um oh oh no we're not going on replay we're going on um yeah we're going to do the thumbnail in the menu by the way so yeah but yeah the setup is quite easy um, I, I just wanted to do a video about it just because I did it for the um, for the bike as well. So I just wanted to just do one for the rider as well, just to make it a little bit easier as well. So I, I just wanted to, um, yeah, I just I just wanted to uh, do one for um, for that one as well, just to just to make it a little bit easier. So um, that's what I wanted to do. So uh, let's just go back to it then. There we are. So like the uh, I'll, I'll do the. Um, yeah, I'll, I think I'll do the thumbnail. Uh, yeah, I think I'll do the thumbnail. Yeah, I'll do the thumbnail like that, just because it'll be a bit easier. Uh, so there we are then. So that uh, was my my video of showing you guys my setup for my rider. So if you guys have enjoyed this video, uh, please give me a thumbs up. Please unsubscribe to the channel if you are new around here. So I'm going to try and do uh, more videos on these at some point, uh, but I'll have to uh, let you know. So yeah, I'll see you next week on it. Uh, so next week, by the way, um, I don't know what's going to be happening next week. I'll have to let you know. Um, I'll let you know what's going to be happening next week. But yeah, I hope you guys uh, have enjoyed this video and it sh showed me the information about it. So thanks for watching and I'll see you later. Bye!